And today I'm going to detail how the trace mineral boron, which is often utilized for bone health, also supports the production and proliferation of critical sex hormones like testosterone and estrogen. For women, daily intake of boron significantly increases estradiol, the primary form of estrogen found in the body during the reproductive years. And this then leads to far better retention of both calcium and magnesium. And for us guys, boron increases free testosterone while decreasing estradiol and also pro-inflammatory cytokines like tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin-6, and even C-reactive protein. And this naturally leads to a reduction in fatigue, particularly for older men, along with improved muscle mass, stronger bones, better sleep, and faster recovery from exercise. In fact, regular intake of boron significantly improves wound healing for both men and women. And I'm going to take you through how that happens right now. Boron expedites wound healing primarily by improving the function of the metabolic enzymes elastase, collagenase, and alkaline phosphatase. And all of these enzymes enable fibroblasts, the most prevalent type of connective tissue cells, to produce the extensive extracellular matrix of connective tissues, structural proteins, and adhesive proteins throughout the body, leading to vastly improved and expedited wound healing over time. Boron also significantly improves magnesium absorption and deposition into the bones, and this is coming directly from boron's inhibition of a form of estradiol called 17-beta estradiol. As a reminder, magnesium is required to convert vitamin D from its liver storage form calcidiol into its active form calcitriol. And calcitriol itself is a powerful endogenous steroid hormone that famously regulates levels of calcium, phosphorus, and overall bone mineralization. Boron increases blood levels of calcitriol, again active vitamin D, by inhibiting the action of the metabolic enzyme 24-hydroxylase, which normally breaks down calcitriol. Beyond activating vitamin D, it's important to maintain optimal daily intake of magnesium anyway, because the deficiency of magnesium, which is almost universal today, promotes inflammation. Specifically, the pro-inflammatory cytokines tumor necrosis factor alpha, interleukin-1, and interleukin-6, which all accumulate in both the blood and bone marrow. A common daily dose for boron that you're likely to find as a supplement is 3 milligrams, and you can and should take it alongside your daily magnesium, because one side effect of taking boron is that this trace mineral can also increase our stress hormone cortisol. So magnesium, which relaxes our muscles and nerves, while naturally lowering cortisol, is an ideal companion. Along with elevating free testosterone, boron can also increase levels of the problematic dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. So taking a natural DHT inhibitor, like pumpkin seed oil, or even rosemary oil, with your boron and magnesium can really help. I would also include a liver detox formula that specifically targets xenoestrogens. These are ubiquitous, endocrine-disrupting chemicals that accumulate in the liver and mimic estrogen, particularly 17-beta-estradiol, while also binding to the estrogen receptor. And while boron, again, inhibits this problematic 17-beta-estradiol, it's still important to cleanse your liver of these problematic xenoestrogens every day because one of the most common places we find xenoestrogens is plastic. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.